Alright, I think we're live. I think we are live. I haven't been live for a while, but... Do you know what? Today, I usually just give you a debrief what happened last episode. Absolutely no idea. Then we lost to... Oh, we had a pretty bad run of form. Only being Brentford. I didn't even play that game. So I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit out of it today, so... You know, for certain reasons. Bit... A bit, you know... You know, um, but anyway, um, today we're going to, I, I want to get to the end of the season. That is eight games. Would prefer to just play five. Now Burnley home does look like a fixture where I could just, um, just skip. Um, I think, I, I think I might actually sim West Ham. And Newcastle, I know they're bigger games, but we haven't played Burnley this season, and I like I just never like playing Burnley to be fair, because it's just it's just a boring team. Um, our team doesn't change much, obviously. Um, um, but yeah, I haven't played. I didn't play. Uh, I was meant to play that yesterday. I haven't played FIFA all week, by the way, because I only really play career mode now. Um, I'll be choosing the red kit. We had a great game against Brighton, so that's why I'm going to play this game. Uh, yeah, we'll choose the red kit. It's a pretty grim kit, but, you know. Could be a legendary one. Anyway, um... Oh, not Williams at wingback. Um, Gian Luis can fuck off. I know, I know what we're going to do with doing this. Learn is playing... Learn is playing centre back with Kabak and Goldson and and Krull, so it's probably like the most dodgiest um, back three you'll ever see. Don't know why William Walker's. Why is he unhappy, bro? You are a youngster. You are a youngster. Are you kidding me? You are nearly playing every game as well. Oh, Nat Phillips, he was good. He is good. I'm not gonna play him though. But I thought we'd have won a player. Um, oh yeah, Rashika was awful last game actually. So fuck you, Rashika. William Walker's playing, even though I love you, Rashika. Uh, Campbell's still captain. We are literally Brighton, but probably a bit more attacking and worse at defending. But last time we played against Brighton, it was a 4-3 um, win. 4-3 um, win, which was probably the game of the season, game of the series, game, definitely game of the series. Um, why is it frozen? Lovely lag. Um, Make the Niles 69 and pens. I swear he's a ball there. Like, yeah. Anyway, I'm just reading a text whilst... Um, oh yeah, Brighton, we did a crit of it. First, first part of the season. Sorry, I'm just not commentating. I don't know why. Once again, I'm a bit out of it today. This is the uh, lead table. We're above Brighton, and it, you, me, us and Brighton used to be a top four clash when it was last time. Um, oh my god, we're not even getting relegated and we get the worst defence in the league. That um, signifies that we might need a centre back next season, so yeah, or we just buy fun attackers. That's probably the biggest shout. Um, but yeah, I'm, why are we in the. Uh, we don't have the training jackets apparently. Um, no, what I'd say is. What was I going to say? No idea, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, uh, us and Brighton used to be a big, big top four clash. Now it's just a... Um, well, now it's just a, not relegation battle already. Although we could push Brighton in the relegation zone if we beat them. And then everyone behind them wins. This Tariq Lamperty at central centre back. Okay, oh mate, is that the um really tall player up top? This is such a weird Brighton team. I've just shown you this, so you don't need to. Oh, it is as well that. No, is that is it that player? I don't know. 
But I put on um, William Walker. Now, once again, William Walker is so helpful because he is so goddamn tall. Now, we are playing against a five of the bat team, so we kind of need Kavak to... Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to focus because I haven't played FIFA all week, so... I've just been playing F1. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we are also playing... Um, is it Jefferson Lerma? Oh, yes. Alright. That's alright. Alright, we've, we've kept the ball there. And that's a good ball by Minton and Nars. Brandon Williams is away. He's got a weak left foot. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That was glorious play. Right foot screamer. Oh, Champong. Nearly with um, nearly with the worldie, worldie. Campwell, where the hell? All right, I see William. Oh, okay, no. Winners, winners, winners. So for Norwich City, they had a difficult match to contemplate last time and ended up drawing in the game against Chelsea. I mean, drawing nil nil against Chelsea isn't awful, though we did not put up a fat uh, up anything a fight. I mean, now man, that's good tackle. No, apparently not. Bloody get Billy Gilmore doing nothing again, although he just won the ball, even though that was an awful touch. Oh no. Terry Lamptey, it, mate, we need fucking Walker to go on Terry Lamptey. Don't be scared to whip it in. No. Oh my god. Whew. Come on. Get the ball out. Out, out, out. Now you're fucked. Come on, Achen Pong. It's Frankie Boy. Oh no, I took him out of deflection. Got blocked. Whoa, that was a powerful throw. Oh my god, he's done him. Is that Kabak? Was Frim back Kabak? Or was it Gilmore? Oh my god, it's Gilmore. Why is this? Why is Gilmore so lazy? Jesus. What's that? Not being the best game. Not being the game that we thought could have been after last time these two teams played against each other. William. Oh, awful ball. <laughs> a Chen Pong. She's a maniac, me. Lerma at centre back. That's brilliant. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe not. It's just played the weirdest ball with his right. He like side footed it. But then it went like it was like the outside of the foot. Like, what the hell? It's not meant to even go to him, but that's all right. No. Is that a save? I think we're all with another good save. I feel like Brighton could be a bit of a rivalry in this season. William running. William finding Camwell. Now with Lerma. Brandon Williams. Fuck me, Brandon Williams. Don't even know once passage. No way. Fuck sake. Alright, that's not a great game to start off the exit. Well, we've talked about their problems at the back, but in the first half, they've looked. And now they get the ball rolling. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Mope. This looks promising. And the keeper flings it. Oh. 
plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. I forgot to commentate again. Oh. It's with Kabak. I don't really know what to say. It's been a boring game. It's been a boring game. Oh, hello. A champ pong. Running. Back post. Oh, William was there. Frank and William trying to link up Kabak's assures. Kabak. Morpé is now running. Mate, what the hell? No. No way! What play from Brighton. Mate, it's bloody Gilmore and me the Nars not tracking their man. We bloody can see the game. What the? Oh my god, it was Gilmore's man. Gilmore, follow your man. Gilmore is fucking ass. Frankie Boy just hasn't acted the same without his partner in crime. I'm thinking it's getting to that moment. Oh my god, okay, fuck it. <laughs> um... There, I'm going, you're going off, I'm sorry. No, 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 she isn't. Go on, actually. Walker's going off, I know he's six foot three and he's, you can lump it in there and freaking lamp is there, but William's not done but enough. This is the time to change Billy Gilmore's was really just like, he's been good, but then he's also been really it's bad. Oh no, it's that number. Stevie. No way. Fucking hell, Crawl. Why'd you make everything dramatic? Catch the ball, mate. Who can he pick out? Oh, fucking hell, what am I doing trying to dribble out my box? Well, I nearly... I deserved that. To can see that. Because that was stupid. Anyway, Aaron's. Aaron still. Aaron still. Oh, why did I take off the big six for free man now? Oh my god. Okay, let's push. Attacking's the way. What the hell? Sully March now. I actually forgot Sully March play football. Can't lie. Great. Max now run. Rashika. Oh my god, Todd Cantwell, what is that? Why is Lemmer left wing back? Um Lemmer's still gonna Why is Rashika at center why is Gilmore there? What the hell? Um yeah, you're gonna come on there. And Sergeant will come on last minute. Let's just whip it in, hopefully go. Someone's noggin on it. No. What the fuck is Cruel doing? Honestly, what, why, what does he want? What does he want? Like, a man of the match? Mate, you've already conceded. Aaron's. Who's this bloke? Pretty quick, actually. Showing patience, looking for oh my god, Rashika. You're really down. pissing me off now. Oh. Boys, this is. I honestly think we could get pulled back into a relegation battle. Keep it. Oh my god. But it itch my face. Oh. No. Watford are winning, sorry. No. Oh, why do I get distracted? Oh, great, great job for shoot. Oh, great job for Champa. Come on. 
Well, the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not going to be an away day that lives long in the memory. Stuart, give us your take. Well, they've had oh, no big chance here. Oh my God, Rashika! Rashika! Oh my God, this guy can't score right now. Something's happened. Go on. We've got him for height. Oh. Let's see about the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Oh Very my god, why did you have to run offside to those of those? Oh, a perfectly no. Oh, could be a chance. Could be free. Is it going to be? Oh my and god. 2-0, that's ridiculous, man. That's so... They're lower than us as well. Well, once again, they were all over the place defensively, and I can't see them improving because their tactical understanding and positional play... Might have to go to a four at the back. And now they get the ball rolling. Um, I'm skipping. No, I'm not actually. I'm just gonna try and get the morale up a bit. Oh no, Watford uh, lost. Newcastle lost. So we gotta be Burnley. We gotta be bloody Burnley. I don't even know where we won now from recent. We've got some for you. I actually think it's the top knot. It's the top knot. It is actually top knot and the beard. I'm gonna have to shave off the top knot, I can't lie. Gonna have to shave it off. I got a comment. I'll go comment now. I'll go look at the comments now. Oh, I'm feeling wary tonight. That's probably why I'm not playing well. It's a good excuse, isn't it? Can't believe we lost that. <laughs> oh. oh well. Oh no, West Ham. Um, can we go back in the relegation zone? I don't know. Could we? Um, can we go back in the relegation zone? I don't know. Pedro Nato and Dennis Mann. Can we go back in the Pedro Nato. Pedro. <laughs> Pedro Nato and. I can't even remember the other guy. <laughs> I'm a bit out of it today. I'm a bit out of it. Can't say why. Um, oh my god, Ashley and Pong is no longer the top scorer. Um, okay. That's just like unrealistic. Anyway, let's. We're going all Guardia. We're going Guardiola. We're going Guardiola. We gotta go bold. And I'm talking like bold, bold. Right, where's short hair? Where's. Where's bold? Like. That's shaved, but I just want clean bold. We gotta go with the Guardiola. We gotta get the strong facial hair now. I feel like we deserve it. We don't look like Guardiola. We look like we look like a gangster. To be honest, like we look like a thug. But do you know what? Might have to look at the four three three. As an actual as an actual option, because I don't know. I feel like I've loved the five at the back. I think it's worked for this season. Apart from we still concede goals, um, but I love Max Aaron's pushing as high as he can. Um, I'm going to start playing players that are going to most likely play for us next season because. Oh my god, Everton might get relegated. Brentford and Watford are getting relegated, yeah. But then it'll... Oh my god, we might be in a relegation battle. If we don't win today, we could be. So, yeah. Um, there is no point of playing five the back against freaking Burnley. So we'll go with the false nine. And what we're going to go for... Is Lerma CDM. Campbell and Maitland Niles there. 
and then Walker Walker there and then Walker there Aaron so So that's what we're going to go for, and then we're just going to move. Now, it's a bit of a shocker. It could be a bit of a stinker, but I'm all down for them things. I've got another bloody coin. You bloody matey boy, you don't stop commenting. Jesus. Let's rate the Burnley kits. Actually, an all right Burnley kit for the first time in like seven years. That is championship, and that is, that's just weird. Um, we'll go with, I like the white kit, even though it's very championship. Um, we still got the beautiful Lotus sponsored um, Norwich kit. We haven't won, I don't think I've played a game and won a game in the last two episodes, so. Oh no, I'm looking at um, bloody, let me stop saying the word bloody. But I'm looking at um, Halloween costumes right now. You had to buy Dennis Mann for right wing and Pedro Neto for left wing. Those two are great career move players. Leave Brandon Williams on right back. Turn in left back, you will grow huge. Confirm left back. Make Campwell cam. Yeah, good. Sorry, bro. Don't be sorry. No, I love it. I absolutely love it. You know I do as well. Because... I the one thing I love is um having more attention towards me. Um anyway, it's a lovely day at Carrow Road. Probably the first time I've seen it rain on this game at Carrow Road. Um, ready to give you all the analysis is Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Norwich City. So, yeah. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. Yep. Just replying to text again. Popular guy, you know what I mean. Um, I don't want to see the stats because it will be negative. Anyway, um, this is going to be interesting because we've got no, like, tactics whatsoever other than we've changed formation drastically. I haven't played a game... Oh, for me. I haven't played a game on FIFA without playing the five at the back yet. Good pass. Oh, hello, Rashika. He hasn't been in great form this season, but you cross it in. Oh, no. Oh, William. William, the youngster, William. Oh, my God. William Walker, take a bow, son. William does it. Look at that as well. Like, it's a... <laughs> it's just like a weird sort of volley chip sort of thing. This guy's a natural finisher. Him playing at left wing. Look. Look. He's going to get goals. Yeah, I know he's a tall man on the left wing position. But, like, come on, man. Oh, no. Getting the ball forward. This is weird not having. It's kind of weird having loads of players in midfield and not being really far back. But maybe it is a sign. Rashika. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. No. We really need a, a good, um, a good few centre backs. Not a few centre backs, but a good centre back next season. A great centre back signing, including our own Kabak and needs to sign left, left back as well as a bit of a, bit of a jork. Come on, Rashika. Rashika finds a chain pong, a chain pong. Oh. Where's William? He is really good. Remember that goal against Man United? Can we do the same? No, it's crossed in though. No. Why isn't it? Oh, Rashika. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, fucking hell. 
Ushika. He's not been in the best of form to end the season off. Max Aarons is still the best player on this team, but no. Oh. No, this is where without... Oh my god, Tim Krull. What the fuck are you doing, Tim? Tim! What the hell? The fuck is that? Are you kidding me? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish. Oh, well. Tim. The ball, you are jotting me. It's a great goal. Camo hasn't been involved yet. So this actually, like, could deny us relegation if we get 38 points. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Winners! Oh! Shot. Oh, oh. Cantwell. Oh, I think it was off. No? Oh, fuck, I wasn't off. Winners! No! Um. Keeper. For fuck's sake, Tim! Tim, what is that? Tim Krull, mate, you're you're not going to be playing next season. I'm sorry, Tim. Oh, hello. Why is Kabak following his man so closely? Okay, maybe Kabak is more of a back three player. Oh, hello. Oh, there's fucking fireworks outside my house. Why? What do you have to celebrate today unless it's someone's birthday? But seriously, your birthday is not that important to, important to have fireworks, is it? Oh, mate, the Nars. What a player you've been. Oh, Max. No. Where the hell is that chain pong? Get him on the ball more. See, like, I, I played a African winger scoring loads of goals before it was even cool. Now everyone's talking about Salah being the best player ever. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. This whole debate about Jefferson Salah or Hazard is the most stupid thing ever. Right, and I'll explain why. So first thing, I've always said Salah's better than Mane. I've never understood why people think, oh my god, the Leeds are winning and Everton are losing, meaning that Watford are pretty much going to go down. Newcastle getting a point, that's pretty good for them. Anything we can do, um, not much really. Gilmore's been dropped and that's a bit shocking from Gilmore. I kind of want Cantwell to get on the ball a bit more. Um, by the way, I, whoever's commenting, I, I didn't complain about it, I was joking. Um, so, like, if you want to comment, like, just don't know. It actually keeps me entertained. Oh my god, these bloody fireworks are pissing me off. Oh. Well, everything's coming through William Walker. Oh my god, Rashika, there was a man on there. Oh my god. Come out. Oh my god, how have you not scored? <laughs> I thought I was naked then. Campwell, come on. I just finessed that because I thought it was easy. Winners. No, I'm never going to win it against Burnley. Oh, fuck me. It's Dwight McNeil as well. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second Come on. 25. Oh, no. Come on. No, 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 no. Who is this? Aaron Lennon? Don't tell me it's Aaron Lennon. Oh, my God. We're losing to Burnley. Guys, we might get really good. We might actually get really good. Fuck, what do I do? What do I do? Mitt and Nars injured. All right. Well, he's going off. Oh, 
second one. There's not much to do to be honest. Um, just play better. And a substitution in the offing. Well, as you can see, Norwich have enjoyed more of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front two chances, two goals for Burnley. Struggle to turn this one around. Chica. Oh my god, mate. Fuck me, this is fucking annoying. Winners. And he's clear as lines. A champ on go. Go. Go, Frankie boy. Frankie boy, go. Oh my god, how has he blocked that? <laughs> That's ridiculous, that. Oh, Aaron Lennon, just shut up. Mate. Can't wait to get a good left back. Sean Luis, you are shocking, like. Come on. Fuck. No, 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 no. Because I didn't even mean to play it with Tim Krull. Oh, he looks threatening. Antonio! Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Antonio! Oh! Oh, my. Oh, I can just hear everyone screaming. Nimrod out. Oh, my God. This is so painful. I don't like playing 4 3 3, guys. I can't defend. I can't defend. Oh my god, that's just boring now. That's just boring, like. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Connor Goldson. Oh my god. Why is he so slow with shooting? Ah. Uh, I need to sort out some tactics, some new tactics. To be fair, I haven't played FIFA all week. This is oh, mate, it's Billy Girl one again, it's just pissing me Oh my god, Jefferson Lerma, you were so championship, mate. That's off, that's off, that's off. Yeah. Come on, at least get a consolation goal. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin all of your careers. And oh my god, <laughs> this is fun. Oh, this is so big. You know, we are literally Crystal Palace in that one season when they were um, four for eight. Oh my god, that's awful. Awful. If Tinkrell then make that mistake, then I'd feel so much happier. I'm not gonna do a post match interview. Yeah, Leeds won four 0 and United. Oh my God, Newcastle won. We might be in a relegation battle. Nah, because Watford and Everton have just both lost, I think. <sighs> 15th. Player injured. He's one of our best players as well. I'm ready for, I'm ready for that, that transfer window to come. I can't wait for it to just like hit us like a brick shit house. Great, so you know it's going to be fun. Newcastle could actually be a big game, so. My god, what an awful start. Because I didn't play that Brentford game, so I haven't won a game since the Everton one. Where we won 3 0. Honestly, I haven't won it. 
since January the 15th. And everyone's going to go like, oh, and Norwich are probably going to get rid again next season then because they're having a really bad season this season. No, it's not going to happen. I do not want to manage Finland. I don't. I just want to. I just don't want to. i got to work tomorrow. I am bloody, I am bloody, um, not playing mate than the Niles. I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to play, um, I'm just going to see what we can do, for, let's go for the five, two, three, five, two, three, and um, we're not going to change anything about this formation apart from I'm gonna play Walker up front. Yeah. Surely this is the one. Surely. I kind of wouldn't mind playing that but and, oh, Williams at left oh, centre back. I do not want that because he's small and I just don't think small centre backs work. Um, let's grade United's kits because we already have, but we'll do it again, I think. Home kit's a bit weird. Alright, ooh, gets blurred. The black kit don't usually wear that. Um, home kit's kind of weird. I kind of don't like it. It's pretty boring. It's really boring. But I think you do need a classic kit every like three or four years, just to, uh, like probably every three seasons, I'd say Chelsea get. As nice as this kit. My god, that's a thing of beauty. But that one's quite nice. It's pretty good. And within Walker's player now. I can't not play with him just so on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh, what did I just say? Yeah, I've just seen him play, uh, well, playing for them, so then we can easily do this. Uh, we kind of do need some practice, so this might help. Um, <clears throat> no, this will help. Are you fucking joking me? Oh my god, Campwell, you're embarrassing me. If we win, surely we're safe. Well, Still weird without music. Although, I don't really know, I didn't know this Man United's walkout music there. Oh, this Man United team is so good as well. So if they're playing Varane and Kunde, win the league. This would be a big win for us if we beat United. A massive win. A mismatch. Oh my god. We've conceded 62 goals. That is so bad. What's the record? I want to see what the record. Surely this derby was like 70. Eighty-nine. Harvey conceded 89? They conceded 89 goals. Oh my. Which seems nothing, but that is, what, 5 4 nil losses? To be fair, we just, even when we win, we can see goals. Anyway, let's look at United's team. Oh my god. Oh, they're playing Fred and Debbie and Donny. Oh my god, though. Everything's good apart from those two centimeters. Um, the we've changed the team. Uh, you won't. I mean, Ozan Kavik does like to do that, but it is just like what happens. Anyway, come on, let's try not concede five because I just wouldn't be good for the mood, but uh, we haven't won in so long. Ah. Uh, Oh, hello. Frankie boy, keeps it on. Right foot. Oh, oh, Walker! Oh. Made the last of this, is it? Already thinking about Gilmore. <laughs> Even though he does nothing for the team. Oh, no. Already just... Oh, no. Brandon Williams is playing against the club that he literally plays for, which... Pretty sure, pretty sure you're not allowed to do. But... 
and space to cross it. They really look after the ball when they have it. Well, the Great. Have a lot of ground to cover the thing is, right, say. we've conceded so much and we play very defensive football. Realistically, we crowd the middle and we so go really go deep. And I can't be bothered to change tactics. I can't, oh my god, Fred. If Fred scores, I'm going to like... I've got waffles in the fridge. I'll go eat them if Fred scores. And I don't want to eat. Oh my god, what is Krull doing? Krull, are you like stupid or... Oh my god, we're already like... Already can see him. <laughs> Great tackle, Camel. Camel still. Oh no, I should have played Lerma. Walker, what are you doing? Winners! Yo, William! William, close. Camel, whips it. Oh! Oh my god! We're shocking the crowd! Oh, oh no way! Oh my god, Connor Carlson! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh my word! That is Todd Cantwell whipping it. Connor Goldson with the th free header. <laughs> what the hell? We're winning against United. Top scorers in the league versus the most goals conceded in the league. And top of the league versus, what, 16th in the league? And we're beating them. Guys, you're meant to be fine for a title. I said as well, Kunde, small centre back. Our Chen Pong's really slowed down, by the way. So is Rashika, but we kind of knew that. Our Chen Pong's not done much recently. Why is. Why is. Why is Lerma and Make the Niles just standing in the middle? Oh, we just scored as well. That's so. I was like, oh my god, we're so good. And then it's just shit. Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball. Look at so look at me, the Nars and Lerma. No. Oh my days. And cool, that's just really shit, mate. You can't lie. See, now I know long shots are OP on this game, and I do them plenty of times, but we have I honestly don't remember scoring them. I I think we scored more headers than long shots, which like from recent FIFA times shouldn't be a thing because headers come off finds Jean Louis oh it's another corner we're dangerous from that come on let's go to again winners 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 Oh. No. Alright, we can hold. I need you to hold on. Heaven is a place not to. Winners. Goldson. Oh, no. No, no, no. He's just got out strength by Ronaldo. Last time we did this, we did concede, so rather not. Why is Krul just still standing there? <sighs> Why do I do that to myself? Cantwell. Oh, it was a shit pass. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Bruno Fernandes. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Here's Walker. Step over. Come on, Frankie boy. No, why? Oh my god, it nearly worked. I don't, I don't know why I passed that. I just didn't feel confident with Frankie boy. I just did not. I thought he was going to, like, fucking be shit. Oh, ref, go on, blow up now. Come on, ref. Ref, come on. This is scripting if it goes in. It's just scripting, man. 
Ref, it's 40, it's 49 minutes. That's two minutes more than it should be. Oh my god, mate, the scripting just so Ronaldo, you can like show off his fucking ass cheese. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Oh shit, I have homework due tomorrow. Oh fuck, oh shit. So there goes the half time whistle, it's Manchester Oh my god, that's just like killed them. That's a mood killer, isn't it? Bloody, you can see the just before half time and realize you have homework due tomorrow. And the ball moving again. Cavani's now on for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's probably really tired. Why is it lagging? Why is it lagging? It's an offline game. This is really fucking stupid, yeah. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Van der Beek. Vital interception. What the hell? Oh my god. Brandon <laughs> Williams. What the hell are you doing? Just clear the ball. I said, I, I literally pressed cross outside. Oh my days. Winners. Lerma. Chase. Come on, you'll kill. You'll kill Fred. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have committed that. Oh, no. Fuck me, this is ridiculous, man. I literally just... I don't know what to do to, like, just play well. Why is Cavani pressing me from kickoff? You are such a try hard cover. Oh, ref pen. No. Nope. We're going to have to play a way more attacking team. Like, I don't want to go back to the 4 2 3 1 because I like playing with wide wingers and, and attacking fullbacks, but it does look like we're going to have to go to a 4 2 3 1, which is quite a boring formation, in my opinion, on FIFA. Oh, no. What the hell? Yeah, no. Can he get one back? Oh my god. No. Oh my gosh. Walker, man. William. Fuck. Clearly, like, a bid from, like, a massive club has just put Rashika off. I'm not playing him. I'm not playing him. He's not been in good form. Shouldn't be playing players if they're in bad form. No, Golton! You had one job, and I'll play a good through ball. It's Norwich City taking on Newcastle United. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside no. that stadium, and two very good teams. This looks more than decent. Whip it, go on, I beg. What? What the hell is Aaron doing? What the hell is Aaron? I'm sorry. What the hell? Oh, it's a foul. Look at that. Blatant. Let's look at it again more. Aaron's just trying to get... Oh my... Let's get that in slow motion. Ref! Oh my god, no. No, no, no. Man United bias already. Who do I bring on? Who do I bring on? Gilmore, just come on. We were so good at the start of the season. We had vibes all over us. Fuck me, this is just getting ridiculous. I actually have to say sorry about how bad I've been recently. Then teams go through this part stage. It's with Atian Bong. He has time to play it over. Oh. 
Come up. Can someone get on the end of it? Winners. Oh, oh my god! Really should have made more of that. I'm just going ultra attacking. I don't even know who's in our team. Is like player my but we gotta go to attack him surely. Here's Luke Shaw. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Mm, mate, that ball by Fuck me, that ball by Sancho is ridiculous man. It's just getting outraged. Oh no. Oh, oh my god boys. No! Oh my god! There's no confidence in this team. Oh my god. Okay, maybe our ultra attacking is just too attacking. Winners. Why aren't you winning that? Seriously, something's wrong with you. Winners. Winners, no! Why aren't you winning? Oh my days. He's off. Oh my god, it's 5-1, I've just realised. And I said, we're not going to concede 6, are we? Or 5, are we? We conceded 5, which is great. I'll take a 5-1 loss. I honestly think if I get sacked, no, I can. We're pretty much safe. Fuck me. 5-1. That's bad. This is really turning out to be a bad one. Oh, I probably should turn up to the press. Everton drew. God, we're lucky we, they didn't win. Because we could be pulled into a relegation battle. A I mean, teams go through these moments. Oh, mate. Imagine the morale of this club. Well, to be fair, they're gonna win the league. Like, we should expect this, shouldn't we? Chalaba appearances. I oh, mate. You think I really. What? I mean, surely, this Newcastle game isn't that important, is it? Hopefully it isn't. We've got so, we conceded so many goals. Oh, goal involvements. He's got the most goal involvements, 28. That's pretty outrageous. Um... Hi boss. But as they're a bit worried the club isn't meeting their demands. Are you Are you crazy? We are just trying to stay up, guys. Press conference. This is the big one. I'll sim okay, welcome everyone. the two last games of the season because this is the one that matters. No? Why is like, the morale just staying as it is? No, <laughs> nothing happened in the morale. <laughs> so, so big with it. Um, no, this Newcastle game is actually big. If we win this, we're not going to get relegated. Everton could get relegated. Which is so interesting to me because Everton's got the best squad out of all of these. I'd say us, Brentford and Watford have obviously got the worst because we're the lower, um, because we're a new team, new players, but once again, Newcastle as well, got a really bad squad. Leeds and Everton. Leeds have an overrated team anyway. Mate, look how tired they are. 
Um, goal news, can we look at that? Yeah, we just want these guys. Um, we'll put you on as well. Um, change kits. Let's grade uh, Newcastle's kits. Awful home kit. Awful. That is so bad. It's embarrassing. Weird away kit. I don't know if I like it. Yep. Me mom says, um, I gotta go to bed. But I say, I gotta go do FIFA career mold. Um, we'll play, we'll play this kit. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, team management. Do I keep with the same team, man? Do I really do that? Do I go with the? Nah, surely we got a score. Rashika's back in the team. Even though Walker has been playing pretty well. Lerma's out. Lerma's out. Callum Chambers is back. But it. I'm going to bring Callum Chambers back. Jamal Lewis is one player that I'm interested in signing. Obviously he made his name at, um, at Norwich. Playing for Newcastle. Never really been impressed by Jamal Lewis. Always been impressed by Max Aarons. I actually think he's a, a top player. But... Um, and hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Norwich City up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set. Two good teams. Great right. <clears throat> um, the relegation battle, I would say. Goldson scored last game. I mean, we have not been good at all. But last time we played Newcastle, we went 3-0 down and then came back and drew 3-3. And that was with our B team. Now, I'm tempted to give the B team a go if we can't win this game. Cool saves. I'm even temp tempted to bring in Angus Gunn. A champ Pong. Come on. Oh. Yes. <laughs> a champ Pong. Oh, Rashika. That's it. That's the one. That is the one. Brilliant start. A champ Pong finds Rashika. The link up is back, and he has finally scored again. The whole team runs to Rashika. Because he has finally scored a Premier League goal in God knows how long. It's been too long, if anything. It's the movement, finally. Why are we trying to change formation? Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. The 5 2 3. Uh, what? The 5 3. The 5 2 1 3? No, the 5 2 1 2. <laughs> It's getting well. It's getting well. Um, although, if Gilmore doesn't bloody work hard, I will cry. That's it. Um, are they going to show the bottom half of the table? Alright. So, if we win this, yeah, we go on 38 points, which is apparently mathematically enough because no team has ever been relegated with 30 points in the Premier League. A champ on. Campwell. Oh. Campwell. Oh. Why didn't I just cut on my right, on his right? You say. Um, I don't know why. Golton, this is yours. 
Oh my god, Golton is deadly from these corners. Deadly. You don't want a mess of Frankie boy. Frankie boys woke up on the right side of the bed today. Usually wakes up on the left, but he's changed it up today. Oi, wanker. If Newcastle get it I think Callum Wilson's a good good option to look at. So Max Man is not playing for Newcastle, that's why they literally could just be awful already. Oh, that's it. No, you fucking bitch. Someone's vehicle's been... No. No way. Watford are drawing 1-1 one -one with City. Oh, this might be a massive game then. If Max Aaron's running now. Actually, Pong. No. Out of the way. Oh, and... Fuck me. A champong. Mate, why is everyone flying? Gilmore, do something. Work hard, Gilmore. Go on. We need Pedri in this team, man. He works too hard. No. Carroll. Is that Carroll? No. Why would it be Andy Carroll? Is Andy Carroll still playing football? Good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, they've worked on Rashika. Well Campwell well holds it up brilliantly by Rashika. That is just a fantastic goal. Oh, my word. Like, look at that. Todd Campwell, just look at that. He's gone through it. You know, everyone at Norwich has gone through it, but we might get our first win. And I'm not counting the Brantford game because I didn't play the Brantford game. But Rashika, that is just so good. See, when Rashika's on form, he can win us the game. And it looks like we might be setting up now. He'll play the final game of the season for show. But we might just sim. The problem is, there's a, um, I think we just maybe back off a bit, but once again, I cannot be bothered to redo the tactics because I have done them quite a few times and it's just not fun, Mr. Potter. Fiona. Cherry chapstick. Want to try? Want to taste? No. What the hell? Did he just get like pushed over? Oh, chips over. She and Luis have been good this game. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Oh, Rashika's through. Oh my God, he still not at his best form, but you know he scored a goal today. We can't, we can't deny him that. We cannot deny him that. That was a good game, a good half. Um, look at this. What a moment. Yeah. Oh my god, it wasn't even going in. Like, well, it was going in, but he should have saved it. That's the thing. So it wasn't even like a great finish from Rashika. So <laughs> he's still struggling, bless him, but. Oh my god, we are set up so deeply. I think this is the problem. It might be just form, bad run of form. Shan Luis, that's brilliant. Now he must favor the cross. Come up. Oh. oh man, I've got so much work to do. I just realized. Oh. Oh, penalty. It's I think that's our first penalty this season. I honestly think it is. The Sells fouls at Champong. Frankie Boy goes down and it's a pen. To be fair, we do not get in the box enough, so I wouldn't really know what. Alright, I'm going bottom left. Oh, that's powerful. That's it. 
Todd Camwell gets another goal, but he's running to the camera. Because we are staying up officially. We are staying up officially. Look at that. That's the fighting spirit. Gilmore, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, Gilmore. Billy Balboa. Billy Balboa. Scooby-Doo. Look at that. Good pen. Todd Camwell. Two goals. Can we get him a hat trick? Do you know what we haven't got? Three kicks and pens. And it is because we're only playing with two up top, to be honest. And that's the problem. That's the thing I'm actually quite worried about. If I'm conceding all these goals and we're playing like ridiculously defensive, then a very good challenge. Yes, good play. Gianluis. Gianluis finding a Champong. Frankie boy. Oh, come on, man. He's quicker than Dubravka, you pricks. Oh, my God. Mate, Callum James had a good game. I know he's just fouled there, but he has. He has had a good game. I want to play against the Villa. I, don't, I, I want to play against Villa. I don't, I don't really care about their final few games this season, but... Maitland-Niles running. Oh, no. Just a really shit touch by Frankie Boy. Oh, no. <sighs> Mate, my arm actually really hurts. Like, my wrist. Oh, my God. Gilmore, do you want to stop being bad? Great tackle. What a tackle. Is that Kabak? Gilmore, I swear to fucking God, man. Is that Kabak, though, with that tackle? I don't want to concede. I don't want to concede. That's the one thing. I... Oh, great save. Cruel. All right, I'm bringing on height. I'm bringing on the big man, William. Um, Rajik has had a brilliant game, let's be honest. But And then we can... Because Gilmore just made those two mistakes. Marin Lerner for defensive help. We're now getting like, we don't have a really fixed squad, but we've got like three players that we can just comfortably bring off the bench and be like, yeah, that's a good squad. And that's what you're um, looking for. Is fucking Crawl loses the ball. Um, get it out, get it out. No. No! Goal to no. You've had a, such a good few games by conceding five and three. And what? That, I'm pretty sure I just got the ball there. I'm not going to lie, Raph. Um, did he get the ball? I don't know. I think he did, to be honest. I mean, his foot literally breaks. I don't know. He does get the man first, but then he gets the ball. But apparently you can't do that. VR just doesn't work. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Well, I wanted the clean sheet, but it's fine. I never wanted it anyway. Fuck. No, we're not. We're not doing a Newcastle. We're not conceding three straight away. They're going to go attacking now, which is going to be exciting. This so makes the game interesting, at least. Like, could we bottle it? Which we could, let's be honest. William finds our champong. It's Frankie Boy. Yeah, he deserves that. He's had a brilliant game. Brilliant, brilliant game. 4-1. We're trying to hit the five mark. We just lost 5-1 to United. And now to win 4-1, that's pretty nice. Obviously, William gets the assist, but a champong with uh, a goal and an assist today. It's just really nice. Oh, 
And I'm hearing that something has happened in the City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a second goal for Manchester City. Oh, Watford, Nivilla. One, I mean. Drew. Oh, fuck's sake, Lama. Fuck me. Lama, you are dog sometimes, son. You're also pretty good sometimes. It's quite strange. You're quite a strange player, to be honest. We don't need the fullbacks to sprint up every time we're trying to attack. Like, it's only really for... Oh, okay, come on. Oh, I know. Oh, no. Uh. Thank you, boy. Todd. Todd now. He's on his own. Bless his cotton socks. He still has it. Oh, no. Oh my god. I don't know why I passed that. It's because I thought I was offside. And he's fired over the corner. Decent position. Come on. Oh. Just the clearance that was needed. No. Oh, Four one. That's brilliant. A 4-1 win after losing 5-1. It's quite nice. We still concede one goal, which is annoying. But I think that keeps us in the league, which is obviously great to hear. Um, stats don't really matter anymore. Like, it's the end of the season. Leeds won. Everton lost. This could mean that Everton could be relegated in the next few days. Just a moment of your time. Texting guys, just texting. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, he caps off to good. Camel wasn't even that good today, but you know he was right there. Come on, come on, guys, get a bit happier at least. I mean, that'll be all. Thank you. This is what happens when you take your chances, and the midfield actually works hard. 14th. If you offered 14th for the start of the season, you were a Norwich fan, would you take that? 100% you would. It's Everton. They might be going down. Rafa Benitez might have bought Everton to the championship. They've lost 19 games. Do we play Everton? I don't know. No, we don't. Who do we play now? I want to play against Villa. Wolves, no. Oh, we played against Wolves. It was awful. Do you know what? Fuck it. We're not going to play against Wolves. We'll play against Villa and we'll play against Spurs and that'll be the end of the episode. But, if Everton get ahead again, you know for sure I'm, um, I'm going to be playing... I'm going to be playing? I'm going to be buying all their good players. Let's look at the Lee table. Um, United are winning by three points. They've played one less game than Liverpool, meaning they could have a six-point deficit, um, a six-point um, clearance from Liverpool. Who are they playing in that game? They will be playing against Brentford. So I think um, the title race could be wrapped up. Chelsea might not even be getting top four. Um, so, yeah. That's that's it. Um, we are practically safe now. Practically safe. It's Newcastle, Everton and Leeds. But Leeds have gone on a, a few good wins recently. Um, they play, They obviously beat Palace. But they also did something pretty good. Not least to Chelsea. So it's not great. Beat Watford 4-0 which was a 6-pointer. Pretty much cementing Watford. Going down to the Prem, uh, going down to the Championship, I mean. Um, we'll play against, yeah, we'll play against Villa. Um, there's no reason to really change. I am not fucking playing in a red kit. 
That's like a... Oh, hello, that was a nice voice break. Um, we're not playing in that black here because I seem to lose in it all the time. That's like a uh, Villa's uh, kits. There's no third kit. I don't know why. Why is the badge on Villa's kit so big as well? What the hell? That's such a weird kit. I don't really like this kit. I like that kit, but I don't really like the home kit. That kit's quite nice. That's an AL10. That is a 5. I don't like that. No. Come on. What she said, what's the problem, baby? Why am I looking at Palace? I don't really want to. I want to hear about Newcastle. See if they get relegated. Um, Brandon Williams ain't playing, but I'm not. Calvin Jean is playing again. Sorry, he's got to play again. Been in good form. He's been in good form. I don't know why he's got minus rain. Oh, man, Gilmore again. So let's go, Gilmore. Um, oh, it's two five of the backs. It's just gonna be a shit game then, isn't it? Um, why am I doing this? Um, the cameras are fixed to one man in the line. Mate, today, Tim, I'm not gonna lie. If you get if you fucking retire, I, I will not care. <laughs> I will not care. Um, there are a few goalkeepers I'm looking at. Buffon's one, because I know I can get him for cheap and he's just a good one season goalkeeper. That'd be quite cool to have Buffon. But also Dean Henderson is there long term. But I'm going to probably focus on more outfield players this se uh, next season. Why would Tim Crow retire? He's literally had a good season. Um, I've been to Villa Park. Very big stadium. You don't realise how big it is until you play with it. Um, that's what she said. So, yeah. I don't know if this is a good Villa team, by the way. I didn't even watch the Chelsea game today. I was playing my mates. I do feel bad. I hate not watching Chelsea. But I watched... Actually, no, I watched the last 30 minutes. And, fucking hell. And that was, um, that was a bit of an experience. Literally thought that Mendy was the best goalkeeper. He is the best goalkeeper in the world, in my opinion, right now. I think Mendy is the best goalkeeper in the world right now. Um... So, yeah. And is that even like a hot take? Come on. Like, is it actually a hot take? I don't think he's good with his feet. And anyone can say Edison's, like, amazing because he's good with his feet. Oh, my God, no. All right, Tim Crow, calm down. I want to get a clean sheet before the end of the season. I do want one, but I don't think it's going to be this game. No, no. Is he off? He's off, isn't he? Yeah. I was going to say. Well, sometimes we have a fierce relegation battle, sometimes not at all. And barring a miracle over the run in, it looks pretty clear cut in terms of who's. Rashika, oh, what an awful tackle. Oh, it's a free kick. I have not had one this season. Oh my god, this is so far out. That's ridiculous. Oh, I'll just go over it. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been is it, on target, is it a really good a strike? <laughs> I wish Villa in real life this season. They were pretty good um, first half, but Tyron Minks just made two huge mistakes and we won and capitalised on that. But also Big Ron was... Pretty unreal that game. Come on, Frank. No. Why aren't you quicker? Ashley Young plays with it. I actually forget. Oh my god, Ashley Young is such a dick. He's such a dick in real life. Also, I just hear um. Oh mate, oh, Tim Crow better not be retiring. I'm not gonna lie. Great tackle. Well, if it is true, he'll Calum be a Chambers. to everybody. He's been such a great player for them, but I'm always pleased to see a player. Now, oh, Stuart, they're in here. 
Oh, wow. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Why does Billy Gilmore get involved with every single celebration? You don't deserve it, Billy. Um, but a champion finds Rashika, and Rashika smashes it top corner. Rashika's now found his form. Milo Rashika. Or a Chica. I don't think, like, uh, I, I'd say, like, it went for a phase of Rashika being our best player, then a champion being our best player, then Cantwell being our best player. And then, like, we just didn't have a best player for, like, a very long time. And now I'd say it's all three of them, really. All three of them doing really well, but... Oh, yes. Oh, my God, what's that touch? Fucking hell, that's an awful tackle. Yeah, okay. Come on, got a yellow. I never get yellows. Cons is injured as well. I didn't mean to. We haven't got any injuries this season, which is kind of annoying because it's like, that's not really a yeah, Sagi. Come on. I'm not going to touch the sliders. Like, I just don't see any point. I just play the game how it is. I don't want to mod it or anything. Oh, yes. A champ on brilliant turn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, Rashika. Oh, yes, he wins it as well. A champ on. You kidding me? Frank, mate. You're left footed. It was a really bad miss. Sure, we're gonna try and get him his hat trick. We're trying to get him top scorer this season. And he needs a bloody hat. Oh, I've literally just been talking about injuries. And then I was like, <laughs> as soon as I mentioned that. Oh. No. Oh. I think Golton's out. Not out, but I think he's injured. Callum Chambers. Oh my god. Callum Chambers when he plays well. Oh no, it's Kabak. He's not gone. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Watkins. And it's played into the center. Well, the danger is still there. Well, at least we can get to half time. With a clean sheet and a goal from Rashika. Pretty happy with that. Two massive chances for Ache and Pong as well. And Frankie. So, who am I going to put at centre back? We can put Chalibur on. I know he hasn't played for ages, but. Put Goldson there. No. Put Goldson there. And Chalibur there. Is Chalibur's tall as well? You know, I have nothing against playing. Trevor Chalibur. I would not mind. If he grew really well in this game, I would. I would try and buy him. Oh! Campwell. Todd. Still. No! Shows the wrong way to run. What is Mings doing? I signed Mings. Mings is a banging signing, actually. I'll look into signing Tyrone, but if we're not playing three at the back next season, which it's a possibility if we sign the players that I'm looking at to sign. I want Tarkowski, and he's playing for Bayern Munich right now, which is kind of mental. No. Oh. And goal news to bring you from the Wolves game. Here's Alex. Yeah. Max Sarans. The goalkeeper's made an initial great save, but oh. nothing he could do after that. They're pulled ahead by two with 53. Oh, brilliant from Campbell. Brilliant goal. I mean, that's just so nice. A champion gets the goal, but mate, Todd Campbell with a brilliant ball. And Champon literally does him in and uh, puts him in his bum, really. Just, well, here's the replay, and you, see it wasn't you know, 2 0. We have changed now. We are back on form. That's what happens when you, look, you lose loads of games in a row. You lose 5 1, and then, like, what happens? You just 
do loads of stuff. One at back. And into the last 30 Maybe minutes not. now. I just couldn't oh. keep the ball. Oh, great foul. What a foul. That's a brilliant foul from uh, Goldson there. Great tackle, Gilmore. Oh, why didn't I play it? It's my fault. Oh, my God. Stop being dickhead. High quality defending. Well, this is the home of live football. Come on, EAT. Frankie boy. And we have more oh. from the Premier League for you. It's Aston Villa. I love the way Frankie boy gets gets tackled and just runs back well, straight away. Really All right, we have really um, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders. Otherwise, they're going to lose this. <laughs> I was just like, just hearing in my oh ear, my god! Has gone in at Vicarage Road. Here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Watford. It's Watford are winning. Watford have beaten Burnley. Maybe the relegation battle isn't over for them. We're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Okay, I'm gonna bring on. Gonna bring on the kid with him, because. I did, I did bench him, but he did actually play really well for us. Like, he scored in the 3 1 loss, I think it was, to Thing A. Jean Luis. Oh, just why did I do that, like, little kick forward? Likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA. I kind of just want Norwich City to be on facing that. West Ham United. And what a no, game that will be. No, no, Two no. good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. He has time to play it over. And a struggle to get it away properly. There's Campwell. Campwell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did Camel just find that ball? That's ridiculous. Oh my word. Uh, mate, you need to look at that Camel ball. I'm sorry. I I didn't expect it, so that's why I didn't say much. So Camel there. I mean, like, it doesn't look as good as it was, but it just came out of nowhere. And I thought the keeper would have got that as well. Pretty poor from Martin, as to be fair. So another, another um, goal, goal flurry. Rashika as well. Another goal for Rashika. Oh. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Winner, 3-0. Brilliant win. Fantastic win for Norwich. Very, very, very happy. It was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, on the final analysis, Milot Rashica hugely influential. Rashica, I say Rashica. But I'm guessing they want to say Milo Rashica. Tinkrow was a bit important for us in the first few minutes, but then we got back into the game. I mean, I just don't like that position. Like, it didn't feel like it. It might have been, but it didn't feel like it. So, um, Watford drew with Burnley. I think Watford might be relegated now. Three games left. Yeah, nine points actually. Maybe. Maybe. Matt as if um Hi, sorry, can we just grab a moment? That guy is so annoying, he's like, Hi sorry. Not making fun of people as stars. My brother has a star. Funny enough. Um Rosito is really good this game actually. Got two goals I'm pretty sure. 
And a, a clean sheet. I said I wanted Thanks a clean sheet you. before the um, end of the season. And we got one. So, month uh, squad, the up, squad update. Um, is this my youth academy? God, so many of these players are not that great. Although, oh, Luther. Luthi? Luther. Luthi. That's pretty good. And this guy. Jesus. What the hell? Marvels. How tall is he? How tall is he? Why is it not going to sell? Oh, five foot nine. Jesus, that guy looks really good. Do you See what he's rated? Might as well. I don't want... I can't a cab bag out. Oh, five days. Um, yeah, just reject probably all of these. No, I do oh, Okay. I want to take youth scan seriously in the future, but... Uh, I wouldn't mind Greece. What, managing Greece? That would be very fun. Maybe find... I remember in my Wolf City day, Wolf City days, Wolf, uh, Wolf, what, Wolf, 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 um, I just broke, anyway, let's look at, is it near CDM, or is it Sanamed, is it Marvels, has potential to be special, <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, mate, I do, I, I do not care, um, what's the stats like, what's the stats say, it just does look like a, um, I'll give him number 45 for Yayatori. Grew up at loving Yayatori. So he's going to be number 45. Um, what what stat does William, status does William Walk have? Exciting prospect? Nah. You don't get six goals in the Prem and two assists. And one clean sheet. It's nice to see um, Frankie Boy and Rashika, I'm guessing, high on the... Thingy. Yeah, Rashika 19. It's just not going to show. Why is it? Yeah, I forgot. Um, we can scare. We can sim this game, can't we? And we're not going to watch it. I'm not going to lie. We're not going to watch it. I need. I got to go to work tomorrow. Um, five bloody oh my god we've got so many why wait what Trevor in my view Trevor Chalibur hasn't matched our expectations for him while here on loan so I'd advise making any transfer Against making any transfer offer. Um, I don't know. Phillips was the panic buy. But I do feel kind of bad for Phillips. Because I've been dreaming about this thanks to start. What? You're not in a starting lineup, mate. What? You're not in the starting lineup. Why would I play in this? Why would I play in the starting lineup? Uh, you're not in the starting lineup, mate. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't really get this. He's not in the starting lineup, is he? Oh, Kavak, you're just such a warrior, son. You are a big player. Please stay. Please, Ozan, come on. I think that's the that's the big thing for next season. Will Ozan Kavak sign back for Norwich City FC? Playing against West Ham, now, oh my god, Everton might get relegated. If Everton don't win today, yeah, they're relegated, aren't they? No, they're not. Everton can, so Watford can still get nine points, which feasibly gets them out of relegation. Everton can still get nine points as well. And Newcastle can obviously still get nine points. Newcastle playing City, so that's already a write-off. Um... Now, who are Everton going to be playing against? 
Everton will be playing against Leicester. It's not nice that. And then Watford playing against Palace. Then Everton playing against Brentford, so that could be a win. Watford playing against Leicester, Newcastle playing against Arsenal. And Everton playing against Newcastle. Uh, no, Everton playing against Arsenal, Newcastle playing against Burnley. And Watford are playing against Spurs, I think. Did I see? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. Um, hopefully, a Champong scores, and I don't really care, to be honest. Um, so we will quick sim this and hopefully win. 2 1. Can't well score, though. Fair enough. Bowen got a red card, and we, we lost 2 1. That's pretty that's pretty poor oh my god look at those performances <laughs> oh god I think I think like I'm not going to win the Champions League with Norwich guys I actually don't think I will um what William Walker struggles he's 17 years old man you're fucking ridiculous Gaffer I know you've been using some making of this is Oh, that summed me up. I'm actually certain we would have got a possessive role. Oh, mate, I know Frank. I wasn't in control. I never sub yourself off. Um, sub you off. Ozan's just a G. Just a legend. Um, we'll just sim to Because I'm going to sim against Wolves as well. And we could play against Wolves, we could play against Wolves, but we also could not play against Wolves. Um, and that's what we're going to do. I like the model new though. I um, I played a lot of my games on FIFA 20 at the model new. Um, I don't like it in real life, I think it's pretty ugly. Like the stadium. Oh my god, okay. Todd is now 80 overall though. I think that's. Is that our first 88 rated? 80 rated? He is! Wow, our first 80 rated is Todd Cantwell, our captain, our leader, our legend. Um, with one game to go, let's look. So, leads are safe, which is surprising because they look like they could have got relegated. Watford, Everton and Newcastle all didn't win. Everton most likely will win now against Brentford, putting them the final day... So Watford had to win today. No, Watford are relegated, actually. Watford are re relegated, yeah. Watford are down. Oh. Let's see if there's any good Watford players then. Um, why are we going down the rating? We have survived. We are not relegated. We are not going to get relegated. Why? Why are you doing that to me, guys? Um, Watford... See if there's any good players. Great Kafka. This is really isn't a good team. Joao Pedro is the one I'm interested in. But even he's not doing it. Isn't that a really quick guy? I was looking to buy him. And I didn't. Ismail Asar's a banger. It's a shout. Ismail Asar's a shout. Ismail Asar is a shout. I'll have a little look into him. A little looky looky. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll just quick, no one will know, no one will know, come on, 3-2, Golden gets injured, are you kidding me, he scored the first goal, Rashika? yeah, Rashika too, Rashika gets two, and we lose 3-2 last minute, that's pretty annoying, I bet I'm just going to get the same email from my champ on going like, how could you sub me off? Player injured. Just... Are you kidding me? Oh, well, at least the end of the season. I've literally made that one comment about injuries and now, like, it's just constantly happening. 15th. <laughs> oh, my God. Our season has been dreadful. We've done of Crystal Palace where we start the season really well. We get safe. And then we start losing loads of games. And then we get officially safe. Um, and that's what that's what we do. That is the philosophy of Norwich. Um, find a game against Spurs. I don't think I'm going to play any of my big players, but it would be fun to play against Spurs. Um, oh my home. 
Spurs, oh mate, maybe, maybe we do Chelsea a job. If we beat Spurs, does Chelsea get the top four? <gasps> they could, they could, but we're going to have to beat Spurs by like five goals. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this could be all decided. Did Everton beat Leicester or Brentford? Everton drew with Brentford, meaning Everton are relegated. Everton, Everton Football Club have been relegated. Wow. Newcastle stay up. The Everton Football Club have just been relegated. Has just been relegated. Wow. Um... That's fucked. That is mental. Um, we will look at the team. Um, we'll play the players that won't ever play for us again. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play Timo Puki um, much next season. <sighs> but I don't really want to um, kind of want William to play. Um, Gilmore can go off. <laughs> final game of the final game ever for what the hell? Okay. Okay, so this guy is not a CDM. Cool. Um, let's look at players that will never play for us again. William uh, Gilmore won't. Uh, Phillips won't, but realistically, it gives a shit. Um, I'll bring on Pookie. I'll try and get a Chan Pong a goal. Not much really to do. Um, I'll just put you there. Williams um, has been a good servant for the club, so. And uh, Marvos. Mavros. His first, his first um, game for the club. Yeah. I am going to rate Spurs' kits because they've got some interesting ones. The worst kit I've ever seen. And not because it's a Spurs kit, but it is because it's a Spurs kit. No, it's because it's the most boring kit I've... If it was white shorts and white socks, I totally understand. But it's not. It's so boring. That's a cool kit. Um, that is too much. But that's a cool kit. Although that is also too much, but I don't know. I reckon in like a few years' time, you'll just just buy it. I won't buy it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, you just can't be able to talk to someone. It's just happening to me right now. Um, this is why Frankie Champong is so good at scoring. <sighs> Great. <sighs> Fine again this season. No cutscene, just vibes. And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow. Look at this. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside the microphone is Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're Look just that. minutes away from kickoff time. It is Norwich City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the Spurs, stadium. Top four. Draw sure, 15th. If you offer 15th at the start of the season, I'd be pretty happy with myself. <coughs> this isn't a good Norwich team. We are the worst defensive team, so it's always good to see. Um, we are the worst Norwich team. Um, no, we are the, probably on paper the worst team at the start of the season, let's be honest. I think we are four and a, a three and a half star, which is not good. Um, but I'd definitely say we made first thing some really good signings. Second thing, we did hit some good form. Oh, fuck. But we really hit some horrific form. But now we're in all right. We're in all right form. So oh no. Oh, he could be in here, Derek. 
Is that Tim Krul? Oh, it could be Tim Krul's final game, you know. Because he might be retiring. I saw Marvos, really. Mavros, I mean. Great uh, tackle. Campwell. Champong. It's Frankie. Frankie boy. It's a goal. But he's going to get another one because that's what he wants. Give him a chance, yeah. He wants another goal because that's what he does. He wants to be top scorer this season and we're not going to let him not get it. Um, okay, come on, Frankie boy. Can he get top scorer? I think he's got 20 goals this season now. I probably should have checked. I think he's got to get five to really be comfortable to get top scorer. So, you know, that's, that's always great. Frankie boy still. Frankie boy. Frankie boy. Oh my god, you're kidding me! Campbell's crossing it. Now sending it in. And the danger is averted. Oh, he's given us away. Oh my god, you're kidding me. How do I not win that header? Harry Kane could join Norwich one day. Harry Kane. Didn't he play for them? Went on loan there. Good save. Good save, Tim. 18 minutes. Short corner taken. Sigankov. Cross could be useful. Up a cul de sac in terms of the attack. Oh, damn it. Trying to get. As many goals for Frankie Boy as you can. Mavros. Campwell. Oh my god, what the hell? What, Lloris was halfway off, like what? He was off his... He was really far and um, wide. Yes, Trevor. Oh my god, Trevor. <laughs> well, of course. Of course, I'm like, yes, Trevor. Why have they got the Bergwijn celebration? He has literally done nothing since joining Spurs. Um, apart from score that goal against City, but... I don't know. Bergwijn's such a strange player. Such a strange signing. I've got itch in my eye. Oh, we nearly conceded. I swear to God. I knew it. He does this all the time. Slight little turn to the right so you can hit your taller striker. Pull to your wing back. Makes no sense. Do you want to stop? Mate, Nuno does not play this possession type tiki taka. Tiki taka, mate. 4 5 1. Mavros, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how to stop it. I didn't know how to stop it. They were just... Constantly going. Oh my god, was that? Okay, it's just before I start this. Lovely to see. Oh my god, that was just shit from me. Great tackle. Chambers. Um. Cool. Well, that's just not great, is it?
majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? <sighs> Phone break done. Great goalkeeping. It's with Atian Bong. Um, sorry, what was that? Um, yeah, phone break done. Ugh, that's, just trying to get a champ on as many goals as he can, really. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck is wrong with William? Why? What are those two sentiments doing? Mate. No way. Oh my god, Cruel just with the one of the best saves ever. Well, they can all calm down now, Derek. They've got away with that one. You have to oh, my God. Who is that? Oh, it's um that, well, had that gone in, the game thing here you go. In no. Oh, I should have made Kabak captain. I'm not going to lie. It's just fine a game for the club. I hope not, but it might be. You're all fucking joking me. Deli Ali don't do that, you twat. Have we got Jesse Lingard coming next season? Is it ridiculous? Oh, mate, this might be another demolition, can't lie. No, we're not really. A bit ridiculous from Dele Alley. I don't know if I'm going to win the Prem. I haven't won the Prem in, like, anything. Although, my um, F1, I might be winning the championship. I haven't won the championship in, like, I think I calculated, like, 12 seasons of playing any F1 game. I've never won the championship. So, hopefully, it'll happen. What the hell? Alright, so I actually play for them, that's quite... No, I, why would I want a fucking Frankie a chair pong to go... Oh, mate. Yeah, let's make some subs. Got to make some subs. Um, Mitten Lars go on the wing back. Mitten Lars can go there, and then Lerma can go there. Puki can go on four. And then Walker can play center mid. And it will be. So what's the what's the problem, baby? It'd be nice for a mate in our score against Spurs. Oh, come on, man! Just fucking fall to them. Harry Kane. Good play. Come on, Frankie. Great goal. Frankie's getting another goal. Oh, he just kicks the ball in the net. Frank, I need you to fucking pick up the ball, son. Pick up the ball. Okay. <laughs> you need to get another goal, mate. If it's a penalty, who do I make to take it? Timo Puki on his final, probable final ever game for Norwich? Or Frankie Acherpong, who's going for that top scorer? Oh my god, I just realised who I need to sign for my backup goalkeeper. Is Lerma on? Why the fuck is Lerma on? Is Gilmore on the reserves? Did I put Gilmore on the reserves? I must really fucking hate Gilmore. Um, Lamazon. He looks a bit fat, like, on this game. I don't know why he didn't. I actually don't care about winning this game. I just want to get as many goals as we can. Alright. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Pookie finds Frankie. Who... Look at this work rate. <laughs> Literally, Campbell just watching him glide past whilst he's walking. Fuck me. Great save. Got me. Why is the scoreline just pissing me off? Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Liverpool game. Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, it's a goal for Wolves. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, Frankie Woods gets top scorer. 
But approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly... No, you restart. Uh. Davis. Deli Alley. Every pass hitting its target. And space to cross it. Opportunity! Well, he tried to place that one, and given his proximity to the goal, he's bound to be disappointed. I'm taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Pookie. Oh my god, Pookie. This is what happens when you don't play for years. I actually haven't played Pookie that much this season. I do feel kind of bad. Mate, my laptop has just started making the weirdest noise. Don't sound healthy. I'm actually more more scared about what the hell's happening to my laptop. What the hell? Honestly, my laptop. Can you hear that, bro? Laptop, stop. I, I think my laptop's broken. Oh my god. No, because this has all my stuff in it. What the hell? Stop making this noise, you peasant. Fuck me. What the hell's happened? Well, we spoke about their great defensive record, but today it was all about their front players. I thought they were excellent. Their ability to turn with the ball around... Fuck me, stop booing. It's the end of the season, and my laptop's just breaking. What the hell? Oh, my God. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, I've seen the last final game anyway. Are you kidding me? Laptop, stop. Hi, can you chat to us for a second about the match? I'm talking to it like it's a dog. Uh, like it's a dog. Um, laptop, like, quite performance. Um, cool. Um, well, now, let's look at the tournament prize money. Ooh, that's nice. Not gonna get any of that, but it's nice, isn't it? Hopefully the Norwich owners are nice to me. So let's look at the final um Premier League table. Um shockingly, Watford and Brentford go down. But very shockingly, Everton go down. That's massive shock. Nineteenth. Twenty two losses. That is that is unbelievable. Um, Newcastle uh, and Leeds just about survive. Not just about, they survive pretty comfortably. We are in 15th. Now, if you... Oh, my God, my laptop. Shut the fuck up. I think my laptop's actually used glitch in it. Cool. Wow, this is great. Um, ignore the noise. Um, yeah, Norwich coming in uh, at 15th 11 wins so not awful eight draws and then 19 losses now that <laughs> the 19 losses is pretty bad can't lie it's pretty bad uh goals four so um goals scored 58 goals conceded 78 now we did look it up earlier derby county conceded 83 one season now, I'm not going to sit here and say that we might be, um, oh, come on, man, do I not have any internet? Oh no, fuck me. Oh, okay, you know what, fuck it. So, you know, we're one of the worst defences in Premier League history, let's be honest. 
minus 20 goal difference isn't great but the big one is the 15th place and the 41 points um brighton palace west south of Anton, all having okay seasons um Burnley having a good season, hitting the top 10. Villa having a very good season. Leicester and Wolves back in 7th place. Um, Arsenal having an unbelievable season at 6th place. Chelsea having a really poor season. Uh, Spurs hitting 4th place um, pretty comfortably in the end. City came 3rd. Liverpool came 2nd. And the winners, oh my god. So there were 3 teams on Arcade. It's just stopped this um, weird fan thing um, that my laptop for some reason has just started today. Um, so it came down to goal difference and there was one goal in it for Man United versus Liverpool. So if we were good at defending for one one moment in that Man United game, we win. This is the tightest Premier League title battle rate, t- title race I've ever seen. That's ridiculous. Um, now, no, Frankie was one goal away, one goal away from being top scorer. Damn it, in less games as well. If I played him in those last games, damn it. Um, we didn't have anyone else feature the top scorers, but Frankie Boy, Frankie Champong, get 21 goals in his first season in English football. I mean, what a signing. And then not only that, I pick up, not only that, but... Also top assists, that's outrageous. 13 assists this season for Frankie Achampong. That's outrageous. Um, also, Campwell and Rashika both getting 12 assists. So, overall, our team had goals in it. Our front three especially had goals in it. Um, clean sheets wasn't really our forte. Seven clean sheets, though, for a team that conceded eight, uh, 78 goals. Well, I don't know why I'm doing that, but that's not bad. Um... I'll just look at red cards. Who's got the most yellow cards? Fernandez was seven. That's probably just him complaining all the time. I don't think I got a red card this season, which isn't surprising. I barely get red cards anymore. Um, oh, we can look. So, Frankie Boy, assist leader. So, assist leader. Player of the tournament goes to Man United, Ronaldo. Goalkeeper of the tournament, Allison. Golden Boot is obviously Obama. Team of the tournament. If Frankie Champong isn't in this, I don't care about anyone else, but if Frankie Champong isn't in this, I'll be baffled. I'll be absolutely baffled. No. How? Oh, no. Tim Krull cannot be in this team. <laughs> Tim Krull's in it. But Frankie isn't. <laughs> Can see the souls. One of the worst ever. And <laughs> he's in the team of the tournament. Um, team of the season, yeah. I I don't understand this. Frankie Champong should be in it, but he isn't. Um, but it's great to see that um, Tim Krull is... He might be retiring, to be fair. So, rather him to... Oh, no, wait, no. I don't know why I'm doing that. Why is it a break? I'll do a break after. Okay. It's pre season though. Guessing. Um, we'll just look, see if there's any emails. There isn't. Alright, it's the end of the season. Oh, we can look at who's won everything then. Can we? FA Cup, who's going to win this? Leicester beat Chelsea again on pens. Chelsea have lost three FA Cups. Uh, FA Cup finals in a row at this time. One against Arsenal, two against Leicester. I don't know why I did that. That's so annoying. Um, let's look at the other stuff. Carabao Cup. I can't actually remember who won this. Chelsea beat City 5-3. What a game. Um, Super Cup. I'm guessing Chelsea beat Villarreal. Yeah, I'm just looking at that. To see how Chelsea are doing. Oh, uh, Atletico Madrid versus Dortmund in the final? Whoa, okay. That's kind of... Whoa, that's crazy. Two teams that have just been so unlucky recently. I'll sim a bit more into the future. Let's see um, who's going to win. Who's going to win what? Season change. We're running in circles. Run away, run away, run away. 
John McCachran's gun. Youth squad update. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of these in a few in the future. Should I bring in that loot looty guy? He looks pretty damn good. Six foot. Don't know why I like to hide, just thought I did. I'm gonna probably learn him out there next season. So Financial Report. Oh, cool. And we're gonna hit the financial stuff pretty well, meaning hopefully we get a bit more of a transfer budget. That'll be a really cool really cool to get a bit more for the for the kit. Don't know why I said it like that. Um, so we'll go from Conference League first. See who wins this. Spurs won it. So Spurs actually won a competition. Well done, Spurs. Europa League, Napoli won it against Olympic um, Marseille. Oh my god, what a game. What a, what a, a semi-finals. Um, I, I do like the Europa League because it has these sort of teams in it. Very interesting teams. Um, less of the loss and so does Southampton so uh, West Ham I mean who won the Champions League? Dortmund our Champions League winners so Erling Haaland won the Champions League for Borussia Dortmund so Borussia Dortmund are currently the best team in the world apparently in my opinion they must be because they're in the Champions League um, I will actually stop simming just before the end of the season so I can just have a little look at the emails have a little look at the players. Oh yeah, we'll look at all stats as well. Overall stats as well. Financial report. Cool. Contrast to aspiring. John McEachran. Not John McEachran, but you know what I mean. Um, oh yeah, is this the... If this is 2022, because they won't do the World Cup in... Um, Shane Luis is gone. Don't know where he's gone too. Don't tell me you're retiring, Tim. I'll give you a five year contract. Um, I won't. Gian Luis, who does he play for? Oh, Kabak's going. Gonna have to put him on the transfer list. We are losing a lot of our centre backs next season. We're only gonna have Goldson, Hanley. Gonna have to sign a lot of a, a few more centre backs. Even oh, mate, this is gonna be suck. Has potential to be special. Um this guy called Adrian Luti. I'm um, I'm definitely gonna loan him out um oh okay yeah so I, I haven't looked at the comment but um look at center backs to sign that lacrux that lacra guy please sorry that was really rude for me um so yeah actually let's look at the stats first thing so top scorer was um frankie boy champong um with 21 goals then Rashika with 11 goals, and then Todd Campbell with 10. Pretty happy that in the um, in the Premier League, our front three all got um, plus 10 goals. Then William Walker, who's had a brilliant season, let's be honest, um, uh, got six goals. He is 17 years old, guys, and uh, he's always he was always uh, a big difference when he came on the pitch. This guy's called Slodzers. Christos, I'll just call him Christos. Um, but then he scored two in the European International to one, so it doesn't really matter. Jordan Hugo, oh, he plays for West Brom, that's why. Um, Timo Puki, three goals, and three goals in the Prem. I didn't even know that. Sergeant, no goals in the Prem. You were meant to be the boy, Sergeant. What happened? Goldson got two goals in the Prem. Maitland-Niles did not get many goals, but do you know what I mean? That has been good this season. Um, let's look at assists. Top assists. Frankie Chambon with 13 assists. And then Campwell with 12 assists. And then Rashika with 12 assists. So once again, really happy that all the the, th the front three all getting um, plus 10 goals and assists in the Prem this season. I'm really happy with that. Max Aaron's getting four assists and Jean-Louis getting four assists. Um, Jean-Louis from Greece as well. So we got a good Greek, um, a few Greek uh, quality players. So yeah, um, the two full backs, obviously, wing backs even, uh, obviously doing really well. Uh, Goldson getting two assists. Did not expect that. Mitten Lars um, getting two assists and uh, William getting two assists as well. Clean sheets, it's going to obviously be Tim Krull with 10. 
Um, well, he did get into the team of the tournament, so I can't really, can't really deny. It. I didn't, I didn't really play anyone else. Most appearances is Tim Crawl, isn't it? Yeah, and Max Aaron's. God, you guys are troopers. <laughs> if you play forty games a season, you're fucking correct. Um, I want to look at our highest overall now is Todd Camel with eighty. Then it's Rashika seventy nine, Mitnall seventy nine, Norman seventy nine. 78. Norman has not played at all this season. So why the hell is Frankie Boy, who's in excellent form, been probably the best player in the Premier League this season, why has he only got 78? Why? Don't know why. I don't know why. Do you? Because I don't. Um, yeah, so... <sighs> These are our lone players, which is a bit disappointing because we're losing five players who... I've all played really well this season. Not really well. I wouldn't say Nat for those played really well. Um, but yeah, Gilmore's done well this season. Kabak, oh, he's 23 mil. That's his value. But he loves Norwich. He wants to come back. Ah, oh, that's depressing, guys. This is depressing. Second season syndrome is gonna hit like a bitch. Um, let's get to the final game, uh, final thing of the season, and then we'll end it. We will end it. We will end um, the relationship of season one. Stop sim. All right. Oh mate, I forgot. This is fucking this on a laggy PS4 with dodgy internet. This is going to be painful on a stream. My God, this is going to be horrific. Uh, laptop update. Um, I can't really look at it because it's like it stopped. It stopped doing that really loud noise. But yeah, kind of scared that might be broken. And if it is, then I'll just have to buy a new one. But 18th for coming up soon. Oh my God, don't even say it, Tom. Oh God. 18th. My 18th birthday. That's horrific to think about, isn't it? Oh, players loans expired. Players returning from loan. Oh my god, all these players are going to be fucking horrific. Um, yeah, we're going to have to look in the free agent straight away. Um, yeah, let's just end season here. So, I'll press that now. Seasons come to the end of the season. Uh, uh, dear Mr. Big Willy, sorry. We've come to the end of the season. I'm writing you to let you know that the board is delighted with your performance as manager so far. The players and staff clearly respect you. You seem to have done an excellent job aligning yourself with the club and culture of your vision, both off, on and off the pitch. We would be happy to agree. Continue to start next remain here. I think you should like have a have an actual contract, like a three year or one year. Con so like in the first season, every single um, every single like first season in career mode. You get a one-year contract, and then you get an ex you either get an extension at the start of the season. Because I feel like the first season is the one that everyone wants to impress, and like no one really cares about the future seasons. But like, if you have got relegated, then you gotta be sacked. I think it should be easier to get sacked, or maybe clubs are just harsher. But like, yeah, I've only really got sacked. I've got sacked a few times, to be fair. I was sacked by uh, Forest Green in that um, in the impossible task in my career mode, FIFA 22. Who remembers that one? No one does. Anyway, I'm going to look at your comments, mate, because I don't want to leave you hanging. I'm just going to, like, I'm just struggling. My laptop might be broken, and I don't really want... I don't really want that. i got homework tomorrow. Fuck. i got to do... And i got work tomorrow. Come on, turn on. Ooh. Oh, it's not turning on. Why aren't you turning on, you prick? I'm gonna put on. <laughs> I'm gonna put the charger on. Okay. Turn on now. Okay, it is now. 
That was weird. I think it might have updated. Actually. Might have updated and it was just like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to update. Oh, okay, flashing boot block. No idea what's happened. I hopefully haven't got a virus. Um, ready to shine? I'm going to go on my stream, but... On my... Because then I can just watch it. Like this. I'm using my school email to look this up, guys. My school bloody email. Can I look at the comments? Oh! Start of season two. Well, guys, we'll choose this one. Because I'm sure. I, I kind of just want to start season two. I'm also just trying to look at. Can I look at the chat room? Oh, fuck's sake. This is so annoying. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here, to be honest. Um, I'm really sorry. But, um, I'm also going to look at, um, in my own time, place to sign because, obviously. Oh! Oh, no, I didn't look at other leagues. Fuck. Damn it, that's annoying. That is annoying. Um, we'll look at who came up in the Prem. Who came up in the Prem. Who's your bets? Who's your bets? I will say Fulham, West Brom and Bournemouth. And those... I'd only be happy that Bournemouth going up. West Brom, maybe. Fulham, no. I don't really like Fulham anymore. I just... Well, they used to be quite an interesting team. Um, oh, okay. So, it can't be West Brom. Sheffield United are up. Fucking hell, that's even worse. Fulham are up. Oh. And Bournemouth are up. <laughs> oh, that's some stinky, stinky teams. And Everton are in the championship, which is going to be really interesting to watch. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this season. It's been unreal. And yeah, I will see you later. Um, I just screenshot something. So, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Let me stop this now. How do I stop this? Stop broadcast.